So not that you can really tell, but this is the garlic bed. This is where I wanted to put in garlic. Um, two types of garlic in the spring. I'll probably show those somewhere. I have the the uh, labels that came on the bag. This is Friday evening. Gonna try to get more during the weekend. A little bit. So tell me if this is what you expected, because everything is pretty much going. Look how thin the trees are starting to get already. The oaks have been dropping a lot of leaves. I'm gonna see if I can get up here and mow one more time. We're gonna have another warming up, but before that we're having a cooling down this weekend. So, little by little, trying to do a little bit of cleanup. Hi, chickadeets. You guys hanging out? Must be lots and lots of good little buggies under the leaves. But cleaning out the beds, got all tomatoes, plants plucked out. Um, the only thing left in here are the two carrots, which I can see some of the leaves starting yellow. I have to do more cleaning up on this bed. I'm running out of space right now because the mini truck is back in the shop for the clutch. So normally I would be, you know, putting stuff in buckets, dumping it in there, bringing it down. But I don't have that. And we had the trail brush hog, so there's some um, larger, uh, I wouldn't call them weeds. They're saplings and stuff, but some, some tougher, um, sharp cut stumps there that I'm worried about especially with all the leaves now bringing the frontier down there last thing I need is to puncture a tire so I've been plucking as I can cutting them small piling them up um, but once I, I get the truck back all this will be cleaned out another thing we learned this year is that asparagus turns yellow in the fall these are not brittle yet but So I'm, I think that's good growth for the first year. Cauliflower, a little bit bigger. Not huge, but getting there. And this one's growing a little bit bigger too. Now this weekend we're gonna have um, probably a, a harder frost. At least 28 and maybe colder again. Uh, I think Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night before it starts warming up a little bit again. So I'm probably going to cover those cauliflower and probably pick those two carrots after. Pumpkins haven't changed a lot this week. That's just a dried leaf. That's not a abrasion on there. A little bit more color, but not a lot. Not a lot. And I got to bring in... That's the other thing this weekend is bringing the Hubbard squash too. Now somebody has been gnawing up here a little bit. And I don't know if that happened in the garden before I took it. Or if the squirrels have been getting a little bold up here. This cleared area here, I was just using the leaf vac. Seeing how it does when the leaves are dry and not packed down like they are in the spring. Yeah, give the boys a little runaround time. Right. That's where we are. At least the clouds are blocking some of the sun, so we're not getting so much glare this time of day. Normally when I come up to bring him this time of day to run around, the sun is pretty much directly in my eye if I'm looking out there as it's setting. Who's a good boy? I do not have any treats though, okay? You're a good boy. You're a beautiful boy. Teddy, I said I do not have treats. Show everybody your bandana, Teddy. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty? Sit pretty. Mm -hmm. Sit pretty. <laughs> boy, I don't have treats though, baby. I promise you'll get double treats when we go inside. Speaking of which, you about ready? All right.
windy one today. Sunday, October 27th. That's just before noon. 46 degrees. And here we are before even the 1st of November. And even the oaks are losing their leaves. It's going to get gusty today. It was pretty windy yesterday too. Got a few holdouts with the trees. You get that aspen over there. But this maple completely gone already. And then of course the cherry is still very green. This one too. And a little bit of color lingering around but we had a hard frost last night down to 28. We're going to get another one tonight and tomorrow night. And we're going to have a little bit of a warm up. So last weekend I made a lot of progress starting on the shed. I'm going to do a separate video, mostly time lapse of putting all that together. Um, I'm paused right now. I need to get, um, I'm going to use plastic pallets as flooring on there. And I gotta get the uprights, so I just finished bringing those down. That's all that's left of the sander shed right here. These are the skids it was sitting on. <clears throat> so yeah, that's gonna be my upright, and then I gotta order in some two by fours for the roof. I already have the metal roofing. Kinda had everything staged. And I was hoping to have the mini truck back. I just heard from the garage this morning that clutch they had ordered from Japan. They canceled the order on them and didn't let them know. Um, so they had to order it from another place and that's back ordered until December. So no mini truck to help with yard cleanup this fall. So I'll be trying to use the pickup truck as much as I can. But with the brush hogging we had done down the trail, um, there are some along the edges, some bigger saplings that were taken down and the kind of sharp edges. I don't want to puncture a tire. So I got to go through, kind of walk down there and make sure I can lop those and it's a clear area. So just so I can bring the truck in and, you know, back it up, <clears throat> dump everything. And there's a lot of other cleanup too. You know, there's the regular leaf cleanup. I did manage to get in here yesterday, and that's also going to be part of a Ryobi video, but I cleared a lot of this down using the brush cutter attachment. I still got to do more. I want to get a path down to the chicken coop. Little by little, uh, starting to put the fountains away. All the pumpkins and squash we had outside, uh, kind of seasoning up the skin a little bit for to toughen them up. We brought those in so they didn't get pinched by the frost. Speaking of the frost, oh, I also I used my leaf vac on this path a couple of days ago in the evening and it's already getting over. So yeah, it's noontime, it's 46 degrees and in the shade here, fountain's so icy. Clear that up a little bit because the birds have still been coming every day for their little bird bath. And I'm just going to do a quick pass around the yard and the rest of the video is going to be some of the kids playing. So we'll see how that looks and I'll give you another update when something interesting happens. Right now I guess we're waiting on the first snowfall but I can wait. Go ahead. Daddy, you coming? Come on. Come on, Daddy. Oh. You get some playtime with your brother. All right, hold up, baby. Hold up. Close this. Here, leash. Good boys. Here you go. Huh. You kids want to frolic around the leaves? It is amazing how dry it has been. They actually have a red flag warning up for today and I think tomorrow. With it being so windy and so dry, I mean, we haven't had significant rain in a couple of weeks. He's sniffing around the garlic patch. Got more mulch on there. Now it's hard to tell the leaves among the leaves, but the leaf vac chops them up a little bit. Somehow Teddy got in there during the week. 
I have a, a short little green fence. I don't know if it shows up here. One of these little thingies. I, I put that up just to let Sebastian know where to not go. Because otherwise he'd be in there digging up my garlic bulbs. Uh, yeah, I gotta do some cleanup here. Did a little reorganizing in here. Obviously, the grill's away for the year. Um, we're gonna... We got the back of the donkey shed, too, to store stuff. I'm not sure. I think Dee was gonna start putting some of the fountains and stuff in here. And we used the chicken coop for storing a lot of Aussies and stuff, too. And then we have the old shed that we were storing the riding mower in. Just to keep stuff from getting buried in the snow, as it will. See a lot more sky now from the yard and a lot more into the woods. Finished cleaning up the gardens. Well, over here anyway. So we're just going to leave some of the, the stems in just so we know where stuff is. We can carefully take them out because we don't want to disturb the asparagus. Um, and this, of course, is the cauliflower we want to protect from the frost. I think I'm just going to let that air out a little bit now that we're above freezing and we'll put it back on tonight. Huh. You don't want to chew on rocks. Oh, geez, stuck in another rock. Got another rock. Yeah, so in about four hours I'll be back putting that back on. You guys go, you get a little breathing room. Teddy up to. But yeah, everything's kind of done. I missed a chance to mow in here again. Now there's so many leaves, they're covering the rocks too. But this cleaned up pretty good. Pretty good. That video will probably be coming out. I don't know what my schedule is. I got a bunch of footage these last couple of weeks. It's going to be a lot of editing. But so much clearer. The uh, pokeweed, I think it is, right behind Sebastian there. It's got the red inky berries on it. The birds love that stuff. So I'm letting that grow in, you know, because I'm probably not going to expand the garden much below this log. We, we've talked, we might put in a, either an apple or a pear tree, maybe just below. But I think we have enough, especially with the raised beds. We can do a lot up here in the proper area. Pretty much the the birds have down there. So yeah, just a quick update for this week. Like I said, I'm going to patch in a couple other clips of them playing during the week because that's really all that's interesting. Otherwise, we're just getting going with fall. Teddy, you look so sad over there all by yourself. But you're also so pretty. Yes, you are. Look at you. Oh, stop, stop. I don't have any treats. <laughs> I don't have any treats, baby. I don't have treats. I'll get you treats inside, though. You know what I mean? You want to go inside for treats? Did you run around? Why don't you get... Oh, that's right. Get your running around done. Gotta get their daily dose in. <laughs> oh. You about ready? Yeah? Who's he handsome boy? You are. Hey. I guess you're not ready. Wow.
All right, I'll leave it here and let them play. Right, thanks for watching. Daddy. Just keep in mind, there's a lot of these flower heads around. Come on, Mom. Inside. Inside with Misha. Okay. What a pretty girl. Such a pretty girl. Hi. No? <laughs> you think mama? You can't tell me mama. I don't want to see me, baby. Hi. Mama. What's she doing? It's okay. What do you think, Allie? Ryobi does a good job, huh? Who's a pretty girl? That's a frisbee. You want to learn to play frisbee? Come on, Bastion. I think even her, like, stomach is more than I was like, I can't do Like, Bastion. Passion. Oof. Oh. Oosh. Where's your frisbee? What happened to frisbee? Where'd it go? Where's frisbee? I think I lost it too. Where's your sister? Missy Allie. Oh, she's going. Check it out. You're both digging.
Ellie. Hey. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, there she goes. Zoom. <laughs> How you doing, baby girl? You happy? You happy, girl? There must be so much you're smelling on the wind. Hey, Goof Goober. Bastion. 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 Kids. Hey. Okay, watch your leash. <laughs> 